you know what do you do do you do you get mad and and um you know go go, go crazy and 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 say things that you might regret later and you know how do you respond all right so um today i want to talk on first peter 2 and verse 23 when they hurled their insults at him he did not retaliate when he suffered he made no threats instead he entrusted he entrusted himself to him who just judges justly who judges justly responding like jesus responding like jesus first peter 2 and verse 23 um when someone disappoints or upsets you and i'm telling you i was disappointed and i was upset this week you know for the last what what, what was it now john about 72 hours now maybe i've been been, been upset feel violated mm -hmm. um do you pull out your big guns and react do you say you make me so mad when you say that you're admitting someone else is controlling your emotions yeah you're acknowledging um you have given that person the power to determine your feelings and your reactions no one can take control from you let me repeat that no one can take control from you you give it away the moment you start reacting yeah you give it away the moment you start reacting you see the bible says that um do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good that's what the scripture says in romans 12 and verse 21. so to retaliate is to react but to forgive is to act you get the difference to retaliate is to react but to forgive is to act it's saying i chose i choose the way i respond i choose the way i respond do other people control your emotional state i would love to ask you that question this morning do other people control your emotional state do you let them raise your happiness level or plunge you into worry fear or anger better to be patient than powerful the bible says better to have self-control than to conquer a city proverbs 16 and verse 32 tells us that the person who control their moods uh their, their, their moods and reactions is stronger than a walled city but a person who cannot control their spirit is defenseless like a city with no walls around it that person has no defense they are at the mercy of whatever anyone wants to do to them strength is found in gentleness and gentleness has the ability to handle hurt without retaliating it can absorb the blow without needing to strike back jesus called it turning the other cheek that's what jesus called it turning the other cheek in matthew 5 and verse 39. you say that's not easy to do i know i can hear some of you saying it right now no it's not easy to do sometimes it's almost impossible to turn the other cheek you say to respond that way is not natural and I'm sure some of you are saying that right now. You're right. It is not natural. It is actually supernatural. Supernatural. It is the fruit of the spirit that we read so many times in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. It is the fruit of the spirit. You need God's power to live this way you can't do it on your own you need God's power to live this way I was reminded of this this week Joanne reminded of it this week because I was getting I was getting ready to tell this man some stuff and I had to preach to myself 
I had to calm myself down. I said, God, I'm going to leave it in your hands. However long it takes, I'm going to leave it in, in, in your hands. And I want you, Father, to fix this. I want you to deal with this. I called the necessary people that I needed to call. And um, they're working behind the scenes and doing their thing. But I said, God, I just want you to fix it. I'm not going to get mad at this man. I'm not going to sin my soul. And, you know, because I, 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 listen, I was fixing to, to, to get real dirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was reminded I needed to respond like Jesus. I'm so calm with him. I'm, I'm like, you know, brother, come on, man. You don't need to do this. Don't do this to me. I'm being, I'm being calm as I can, as I possibly can. Do not retaliate. He did not retaliate. So we need to respond like Jesus. And that's the word I wanted to share with us today. Responding like Jesus. They hurled insults at him. He did not retaliate. What he did, he took the suffering. He, he made no threats to them. Instead, he entrusted himself to him who judges justly. God bless you this morning. And I pray that we can all respond like Jesus by not retaliating. God bless you.